now we will continue and um, the next step of the webinar will to be to build a menu, menu structure that we can reuse in our application. So that means we will build a menu and then we will use that template that template menu in all other screens in the application. And this is to speed up the development of our application. So yet again we open up the development tool. I will start by renaming screen number four by right clicking and selecting rename. I will rename it to background like that. Highlight it and we will create a menu in the top left corner. So I start by adding a button object something like this. I will zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. In the general ribbon tab I remove the text and in this case I would like to create five buttons. I could copy paste the object by uh, using control C, control V, right clicking and so on. However there's a nice built-in feature that allows me to duplicate this object very uh, quickly. So if I right click and from the drop down list I can select create series. I want to create five columns, one row and I want to have uh, them uh, closely to each other. So now I have five button objects. I can select all of them and in one single action I change the shape fill to red. The next step is to add a symbol for each um, button. So I select the picture, browse for a file and then I select a unique picture for each button. So alarm on the second one, we will have a list that will represent the audit trail on the fourth. Uh, we will also add uh, a lot in order for us to log in and then there will be one that represents that we will log out later on. The final step when configuring these buttons is to select what should happen when we click on each. So as you remember, we need to define an action. Select the first button, followed by actions, show screen. The first button should show screen number one, so we don't need to change that. The second one should show screen number two. The third one should show screen number three. The fourth button will actually not execute a screen action, it will execute a security action. So I select security, login, and on the fifth button we select that we would like to log out. Now I will just add a rectangle object to the right of the button. I want to use the same red color. I could choose that manually, but if you're not sure about the uh, color code, I can actually select a template object, for example this one, followed by the format painter, and then I click on the object that I want to apply the visual properties to, and then you will see that the uh, rectangle becomes red. In this area, we want to display the date and time, so I add the digital clock object, I change the font color to white, and then finally we finalize this uh, configuration here by adding a picture, a static picture, because later on we would like to visualize which user that is currently uh, logged in. So I select the user icon. So by clicking somewhere in the screen 
I can uh, give it focus and I will change the background color to a light gray. And two more steps and then this screen is finalized. I will add one header rectangle, change the color to dark gray, right click, copy, right click and paste. Here I will have a container area where I will place my objects later on. And I change the color to white. So now we have developed a very nice looking template screen. Now it's time to reuse it on the different screens in the application. So I select screen number one. And you can see up here, you can select the background. Uh, I will add a text that tells us in which screen we are currently at. The first one is home. I open screen number two. Reuse the menu again. Paste my text. I write alarm history open the screen number three, reuse my background yet again, paste the text, and here we will later on show the audit trail. So, now we have finalized. We have built the menu and we have reused it in all of the screens in the application. So I click on project, run, in order to simulate the application. And make sure that it works as intended. So if I click on the second button, I jump to alarm history. On the third button, I jump to the audit trail. If I click on the login, I will uh, open the login dialog. So we have uh, developed and everything is working as expected.